Good evening, everyone, and you're so very welcome to this special webinar. We at IMS are delighted to be hosting the Staff Health and Wellbeing Christmas Concert 2020 on behalf of the HSE. There's very little housekeeping for this evening, so just sit back and enjoy. And without further ado, I'll hand you over to your host, Sarah McCormack from the HSE. Sarah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Happy Christmas. Nalik Honeyeve Galair. You're all very welcome. I'm delighted to be joined by so many of you for this, our HSC Staff Health and Wellbeing Concert. And those of you who aren't able to join us, we are actually recording this concert so everybody will have an opportunity to see it. And don't leave before it's over because like all good shows, there is a draw, so you could be a lucky one. And it's a draw for all that has registered here for this concert. We are now coming to the end of 2020. And we have heard it all before. What is 2020? A year like never before, unprecedented, a crazy year. Everybody has described it in different ways. It's a year that has divided us, but it is a year that has brought us together like never before. And we all know that our staff across the health service has been greatly impacted in 2020 with COVID-19. And we do remember in a special way, any member of staff who has been bereaved during the year. Christmas is known as a time of joy, a time of cheer. There was plenty of people saying, would we have a Christmas? Will Christmas be canceled? Well, it couldn't be canceled. It's all of that. But we also know that Christmas can be a challenging time, a challenging time for many families that are there. And 2020 will bring its own challenges. We know we need to be safe. We know we need to isolate and uh, to keep our distance from those that many times we would love to be there. And that is why it's really important for us to think and look after our health and well-being. Over the last number of years in the HSE, we have been investing in initiatives for staff health and well-being. And one of those key initiatives has been a focus on singing and creating choirs across our many settings there, hospital groups and CHOs. And we are doing that because the evidence is there that shows us that singing is really good for our mental health and well-being. It brings social, emotional, psychological and physical benefits to us. And we definitely know that because our staff continue to feed back to us and tell us about how happy they are singing together, the way that it relieves stress for themselves, but also the way that it unites themselves, gets them to know uh, colleagues across the workplace. And it has grown so well across our HSC that there was a demand there from our staff and saying, give us opportunities to showcase what we're actually doing. And this led to the development of the HSC concerts. And we held our first concert there in 2018 in the Limerick Concert Hall, and it was a great success and followed by another great event in 2019 hosted down there in Athlone. And I want to give a big shout out there to my two colleagues, Fergal Fox and Adrian Lynham, who hosted and who organized those concerts and you sowed the seed there for us. So well done to both of you. And then comes 2020. We know we couldn't have a HSC concert like we did have in the years before that. But our staff kept saying to us and telling us about the way that they had actually missed out on the singing, the coming together. And they were asking, what can we do in relation to ensure that our choirs don't start to fail away? And that is where we had to dig deep and we had to think about what we would do. And this is how we come together and made our virtual concert. So we reached out across the system to yourselves and we asked, what will we do? And how will we do it? And we asked for contributions. And we were blown away with the wonderful contributions that you have given us. And let me tell you, as we have put together this concert, we weren't just looking for the best and the best. We picked out different varieties. Remember, there's always starters, there's runners, and there's the, the ones that win the marathons. So we have a great variety here uh, for you. So in that is that we have also joined up with a number of uh, special guests and we will actually be taking them into the concert. So before I move on, I just want you to remember the social media. Don't forget, let's get ourselves trending this afternoon. Go for it, hashtag sing for healthy Ireland. And that's a four, number four, hashtag sing for healthy Ireland. And you will see that in your chat. So to start our concert and to get ourselves up and running, we went across to NACE and here we are going to meet the HSC NACE Choir. And they're going to sing for us a number of Christmas melodies. 
Now, this concert is in place for two years and they found 2020 challenging, but they took to the virtual side and they continued their practicing and working there. And they're now delighted to be on. I think this is their third video. But before I share that with you, I have a very, very special guest who wanted to join with us and wanted to wish us all the happiness for Christmas. So here is a face, a voice that you all know so well, Ryan Tuberty from RTE. Hello to all the HSC staff and the Sing for Wellbeing concert event. It's going to be huge this year. It's going to be weird and wonderful and virtual. Um, I'd love to be part of it, but my singing just isn't what it should be. But we'll be well represented by our amazing toy show here on Mikey. So he'll enjoy the whole thing with you there this Christmas. You've had an extraordinary year. Good on you all. Here's to better times and brighter days ahead. Happy Christmas. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Boot up the red nose reindeer and a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw him, you would even say it goes.
wasn't that just fantastic. A great way to start our concert. And thank you so much to everybody there uh, in NACE who actually put that video together and participated. And it takes work. So I saw many familiar faces there. So thank you so much. And I want to say a special thanks as well to Ryan Turberty for taking the time, giving us the recognition uh, and wishing us a happy Christmas. So in continuing on our concert, we will now go across to uh, Ennis. And we're going there to the Health and Harmonies. Now, we first came across the Ennis uh, Choir there at our 2019 concert in Athlone last year. So just before we uh, give you and hand you over to the Healthy Harmonies there, where they're actually singing, a number there for us, Fix You. I earlier met up with Caroline Mulligan, a staff nurse there in the endoscopy unit in Ennis Hospital. And I asked her what it was like for her and her colleagues actually being part of the choir. Thanks, Sarah. Um, well, you know what? I suppose I and and a lot of our, our my colleagues love the choir. We uh, it gives us a sense of belonging and a sense of community. We have disciplines from all over the the hospital and even outside of the hospital in the choir. And I suppose while we're all used to working um, as individuals within our disciplines, um, within the hospital, I suppose as a multidisciplinary team approach, the choir we work collectively as a team together to produce sound and it's just it's just beautiful I mean we we I suppose we come together we we move we hum we sing we don't always sing in tune and I suppose we have fun you know and we support each other and we we laugh and you know we get emotional together lots of times we're nervous before performances which we have done some and I suppose we're getting better at that maybe a little bit um, I think this year we missed the companionship, you know, of of our, our choir, our people, you know, and I suppose, like I said, we're all different disciplines. We, you know, we have kitchen, court, community intervention team, we have public health, dental even, but you know what, we miss the companionship of people and, you know, even if it's only a look across a room, you know, there's a support in that. And I think in this, in these particular times, we need the support of each other, you know, so we miss, we miss choir, we miss fun and we miss, you know, the collective team and the approach. While we have it at work, it's, it's, it's work, but, you know, this is just, it's just beautiful. Oh, 
What a lovely, what a lovely delivery there from Healthy Harmonies from Ennis Regional Hospital. And you know, that brings us back to wonderful memories there from that 2019 uh, concert that we had there in Athlone. And I think Caroline said there, that was their first outing. So, you know, when you saw them there, you saw the smiles on the faces and, and you can actually now know what we mean by the benefits of health and well-being coming out there from singing uh, together and that great teamwork. So thanks a million, Caroline, for meeting up with me earlier and for that wonderful delivery there from Ennis Hospital. So we will continue on down the country. And uh, this choir, look, we first met this choir in 2018 when we actually had our first concert in Limerick. And let me tell you, they got a standing ovation. And I know that when you hear them now, you will know why they got that standing ovation. And this choir is no other than the Scrubs from Cork University Hospital singing their song, Lean On Me. Brother, when you need me. 
that the scrubs did definitely not disappoint us uh, from Cork University Hospital. And just, you know, when you're listening to that song, Lean On Me, and thinking of the year that's gone past, how much we as HSC colleagues needed to lean on each other. So a really appropriate song there. And I call them the creme de la creme of the choirs across our, uh, our HSC. And someone who has been uh, supporting day in, day out, staff initiatives and the health and well-being of our staff is our own national director, Dr. Stephanie O'Keefe. I'm delighted that Stephanie is here and I hope that Stephanie is enjoying the concert. So uh, Stephanie, you might tell us what you're thinking of the concert so far. Sarah, thanks so much. Absolutely fantastic. Well done to Cork, to Nace and to Ennis. Um, it really is magic. Uh, there's something about singing that just completely lifts the mood. Uh, given that things, things are so challenging for us in the health service right now, it's just absolutely enchanting, really beautiful. And thanks so much to you and the team for organising this. Uh, it means a lot and going out of your way to try and bring it all together and bring people closer together across the network. So thank you very much and to everybody for participating. And I really wish you all a very happy Christmas and please keep yourselves and your families and your community safe. Thanks so much, Sarah. And thank you very much, uh, Stephanie. And above all, thank you for your continued support for us and for initiatives that we do for our staff health and wellbeing across the HSC. And I'm going to take this opportunity to remind you again, don't forget about the social media. Let's get ourselves trending. Go for it there. Hashtag sing for healthy Ireland. As I said earlier, 2020 has been that strange year. And when we all went through the phases there in March and April and May, Everybody was reaching out and seeing what will we do, what can we do, and indeed people were actually looking at their own singing voices and seeing how might, might we use them to support people. So a number of different groups got together there in relation to supporting our residents, uh, maybe in some of our long stay units, in our nursing homes or whatever, some that may actually be suffering the burden of dementia, or some, some of the illness from old age that's there into it. So we saw many of them across the country, but we just could only take out one example. And the example we've taken out just to add into our concert today is coming to you from Embrace Music. And Embrace Music is coming there from um, Saib O'Sullivan and Sharon Murphy. And uh, Saib O'Sullivan will sing for us a lovely rendition there of O Holy Night. But before I give you Saib O'Sullivan, I caught up earlier with Sharon Murphy. And I asked Sharon what the last few months has actually meant to herself and her colleague there. We're delighted to be taking part today. So I'm one half of Embrace Music, the other half being Saib O'Sullivan, and we're based in Kildare. And we were very active in our own community before COVID, uh, working with our local authority, delivering community choir uh, um, sessions to people living with dementia, active retirees, and the general um, older community within Selbridge and Nace. And I suppose when COVID happened, we immediately thought, what's there for them now? It's, it's all just so suddenly gone. So I think Sive took the brave step first of, of doing some live streaming and we quickly realised that there was a lot of older people who could actually access, this was all through Facebook actually, um, from our Embrace Music Ireland Facebook page, uh, they could actually access this and the numbers built up week by week um, before we knew, before too long we had several nursing homes look 
looking in, we've had now over 25 nursing homes and um, home carers and uh, people caring for somebody living with dementia, but also work from homers and a younger community kind of built up around it as well. So it's been a very interactive um, little project that we embarked upon and it really kind of grew legs and and um, I suppose, yeah, it would be a second best to actually being in a room with people. But it's a good second best we found and, and we found ways to really interact with people such as maybe people sending in their own poetry or recommending poems to us, song requests, birthday greetings. Um, yeah, it's been really, really wonderful and I suppose stretched us um, with our own capabilities and challenged us as, as arts and health specialists. Mm -hmm. what can I say what just fantastic voice and just the the clarity in it it's absolutely fantastic and thank you Embrace Music for coming and joining our concert but above all I thank you for the great joy that you had given uh, to our people and to our residents that were there and maybe that enjoyed that through our nursing homes or through other states that's in it so we ask you keep up that good work because that has made such a huge difference to people's lives so now we're going to come back into the HSC. And you know, this is one part of the concert that I particularly like here. As I said, when we were putting this virtual concert together, we reached out and we asked people, would they make contributions here? And we wanted to look at from the musical perspective across the HSC. And we got plenty of contributions in here. 
And as I said earlier, we were reaching out for all kinds. We weren't going for the creme de la cremes and we weren't going for the real professionals. So we have put together this very nice mixture uh, of different music, different types of uh, playing. And I now invite you to sit back, tap your feet and enjoy the HSC musicians.
Well now, I have to say a big thank you to all the musicians across the HSC. You saw it there. We had Castlebar, we had Cork, we had Kildare, we had Ennis, and we had violins, we had tin whistles, and we had flutes. So as we said, we were just picking out a sample of different types of music. And the one piece I want to say is there, you notice the smiles was on people's faces as they were actually uh, doing their performance. And look at it, they had to record that in their house, they had to upload it, send it to us and whatever. So that took effort and we really, really appreciate that. And I think as I said earlier, we have uh, choirs and on a choir concert. I think we also have potential here to have musician uh, concerts as well in the coming years to come from there. So now we will actually take a break from the HSC and we are going to have a very special guest here. And this guest needs no introduction because it is no other than the Dublin Gospel Choir singing, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Hi to all the staff of the healthcare services tuning in. Um, it's been a really tough year for health service staff in many ways, but we were delighted to hear that you're going ahead with your staff concert and featuring lots of staff choirs. Um, singing is such a brilliant way to express yourself and to engage with other people. Um, so even though we have to do it virtually this year, um, we're delighted to perform this song and dedicate it to all the hardworking staff across the health services. Um, we hope you have a lovely Christmas and a very restful break.
Well, that certainly gets us in the spirit of uh, Christmas. And thank you again to the Dublin Gospel Choir. And also to remember that this concert has been recorded, so you will have the facility to go back and hear that beautiful Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas at any time. Someone said to me here on our team as we were organising the concert, well, follow that, Sarah. What are you going to follow that with? Well, no better than the talent in the HSE. So someone there came up with a great idea. And that lady was Sarah Crehan. And she came up with the idea of getting a number of staff across the country, all singing the same song, but singing all from a distance and in their own homes and their own environments. But before you hear that wonderful uh, compilation that they have put together for us, I caught up there with uh, Sarah Crehan. And before I let them sing Bridge Over Troubled Water, I asked Sarah what it meant for her and what she actually saw the benefits for health and well-being from singing. For me, I, uh, I spent a lot of time uh, singing and for me, what I give to it and in terms of the energy that I put into it, I get back tenfold. Um, and for me, it's not about performance or perfection in any way, but just about participation. Um, and that is something that I really value and I value the social side of it. I value the, the physical and the emotional, and the psychological benefits of it. I think it has a huge benefit for all of us in our workplace.
well, Sarah Crean, what a great selection of a song you did for us, Bridge Over Troubled Water. And I just imagine all the work you put into that. I was counting over 20 people involved in that and looking at some of the faces I recognised that were from all different parts of the country. So a great idea uh, and great work in putting into that. And I know it was around this time last year, Sarah, that I first met you and it was on the stairs in Dr. Stevens when we were actually having our uh, definitely our face-to-face -face, uh, Christmas concert then. And of course, at this time last year, that's what was happening across the country. Our HSE choirs going out there to residential centres in different places and singing for many places across the, across the country. So two more choirs that I'm going to share with you now. The first one is from uh, the Coombe uh, Hospital of Dublin, uh, and they're going to sing Let It Snow. And followed by that, we will actually have the HSC Carlo Melodies, and they will sing Stand By Me. Tears still 
Great, thank you there. And that, of course, was the Coombe Hospital and uh, the uh, HSC Carlo uh, Melodies. And now from there is, uh, where will we go to next? Well, we will now go to a guest, somebody who actually their fame sprung up overnight. And this is to a young gentleman who actually appeared on the Late Late Toy Show and whose fame has actually escalated through the roof since then, Michael Maloney. So earlier on, I caught up with Michael and I asked him, what has it been like since he has become the superstar from the Late Late Toy Show? Oh my God, it's been absolutely crazy. Like my phone has just nonstop been buzzing. Like I've been contacted by the Moran Dahi show to go on their show and Britain's Got Talent have gone on to me to go on their show. And it's just been like going on the HSE Christmas staff party. It's just been like absolutely amazing. And thank you so much to the HSE workers, especially this year with all you've done. It's been incredible. So thank you so much. And uh, I'm going to sing Riptide by Vance Joy. Isn't he just such a treat and such an example of what are young people in doing there? I think uh, he actually is only 14 or 15 years of age. So, you know, definitely we have to say Ryan Tuberty knew how to pick out his uh, talent. Uh, and I just want to say that every piece of interaction that we had with, uh, with Michael, which of course it was a virtue, was just such a pleasure in working with him. But I want to give a big, big call out there to his mom, Sharon. Mom, you are just fantastic, inspirational and fantastic. It's just to see that great son that you have and the, the great um, the great contribution that they've made here for us in the HSC. As I said earlier, as we were starting our concert, that there would be a draw. 
I also said that Christmas is a time of great joy and cheer. And I also think that Christmas is a time that brings out the child in every one of us. So, you know, this is just going to bring out the child in me because I just love this piece and this image that one day I will stand there uh, on, the, uh, on the TV. I'm watching that on Winning Streak and let somebody be saying, spin that wheel. So let's just have a wheel here and let's just spin it in and see, can we have any lucky winners? So spin that wheel there, Leo, for us. Are we going to have a winner? Well, let's go the line now. <laughs> Amy Randall. Amy, we will be in touch with you about your prize, but not just you, because we had 15 prizes. The other 14, we had drawn out before that. So we will be in touch with uh, all of you, all 15, uh, in relation to a prize, a prize under our Healthy Ireland uh, uh, featuring pieces there. So look forward to that prize and look forward to hearing from us. So now we will go for some more music and from our own HSC. So this time a band and a group that uh, some of you will have heard and probably needs no amount of introduction because there are National Ambulance Service uh, Band and the National Ambulance Service, as you know, has been to the fore and has been working uh, there and supporting COVID and all the demands that has come with it. So I am delighted to let you have the National Ambulance Band as they play for us at uh, Little Drummer Boy. So there is our National Ambulance Service with Little Drummer Boy. And you know, sometimes when we look at our staff across the HSC, we see them in their uniforms. And I suppose that's the image that we actually have probably for ourselves here. But just look what is behind. And we are the biggest employer in the country, 130,000 staff. And we're all the time advocating for improving the staff health and well-being, because we know that if we actually improve our own health and well-being, that great positivity that we can actually have and bring to our own lives. So it's just fantastic in seeing and bringing together the various types of talent, some that is very well developed, some that is in place for years, and some that is just upspringing. So I'm going to be saying to every one of you out there and every one of you that is tuned in now and that will be looking on this video, I'm encouraging you to get involved in singing, in music, in any way. And you don't need to actually be the sopranos of this world. It is the joy of participation, as we have heard earlier. So the next place that we are now going to is to St. James's Hospital Choir. Now, this piece that we are actually going to share with you today, it's not a Christmas piece, 
But we looked at it and we decided it just had to be part of our program for this year. Because simply in the fact that it is a great example and it's a great story of what this year has been like working in the health service. This is a piece here that you actually see that has been viewed by uh, over a million viewers because it actually was up there in relation to YouTube. And it actually is, love is bigger than anything else, than anything in its way. And you'll actually hear how the staff at St. James's Hospital have actually put that together and put this out on this video recording. I'll say no more about this until you actually see it. And I think it'll tell the story in itself. From all of us at St. James's Hospital, thank you, our community, for all your support throughout the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. Your kind words, letters and cards have meant so much to all the staff. Together, let's continue to adhere to public guidelines and above all, support each other. To our hospital staff, thank you. We hope you can take a moment to enjoy this song from your colleagues.
as I said, it's a piece that definitely tells a story in its own way. And it is a video that has been viewed globally and it definitely applies globally across in relation to everything that we do. And I suppose no stronger words there than love is bigger than anything that gets in its way. So thank you, St. James's, for sharing that with us. And St. James's had to get and got the permission from you too for using uh, that song. So we are now coming to our final uh, closing pieces of our concert here this evening. As I said in the beginning, it actually took some thinking and uh, some reaching out, but this was not possible for any of us to put here today without the wonderful contribution from across our HSC, our health service staff. And in counting there, I think there must have been almost up on 200, if not more, staff that actually participated in one way or another through a band or through a choir or through a, a coming together of different melodies in their own homes and their own houses. But I hope that you can see and what I actually see here is actually the joy that is on their faces as they actually participate. And I go back again in saying that is the part we know and the evidence is there of what music and song can bring to all of us for our health and well-being, improving our mental health and our, our physical health in everything that we do. So I'm encouraging all of you into 2021, bigger and better. Maybe we'll hit the National Concert Hall uh, next year, but let's take it that way. And before I go to our final number, there's some people that I want to thank really, really sincerely for it. And that is, of course, first of all, my colleague, Fergal Fox. Uh, I reached out to Fergal Fox and we talked about what do we do in 2020? Fergal and Adrian, as I said, had a great concert there in 2018 and 2019. 2020, it was falling here on my own doorstep and said, what can we do? We can't come together. We can't have a physical concert. So there was no doors but closed in our faces. We reached out and made this happen. Fergal, to the videos you made, the clips you made and everything that were into it, I really, really thank you. And to my other two supporting team there, Noreen Turley, my God, the work that you actually did in bringing it together and Noreen working with us in health and well-being on our communications team. And to my own Healthy Ireland program manager supporting me day in, day out, Yvonne Gilsman. So thank you so much for the work and the effort that you actually put in in relation to making that, uh, that happen. But I also want to say that for every minute of the day that we had, it was always a joy, it was always a pleasure uh, in working and thinking how this would actually come together. But I will say that probably someone who actually made this and made this uh, so easy for us was Leo Calcum from our company here, IMS, who worked with us. And I suppose there was always a bit of laughter when we were trying to pull together the videos and the pieces and the snippets and the cuts and the, and the joining up together. So Leo and your team, thank you very much for your professionalism, for giving us the, the guidance and the tips that you brought to us in all of it. Uh, and we started a series of staff health and wellbeing webinars uh, we ran out the first one there in relation to keeping well when working from home. We actually then in, in running them on and a key video and a key pieces that we launched there was minding your well-being. And there are a suite of five videos there available online that actually talks about minding your well-being. And that's why I keep going back all the time. And as we could close out here in saying it is important that we do look after ourselves. Our self-care is just so important. And as well as that is actually in caring for the others. So as we come to the end of 2020, this very unprecedented year, we come to a Christmas, but a Christmas that we hope will be good for everybody in one way or another. And it's important in that Christmas that we think of the love and the care we have for everybody else. We take care of ourselves and we actually keep our social distance. We reduce our context. We never forget to wash our hands. And above all, we will actually then be able to protect those that we love and we keep together. So as I close out this, our staff health and wellbeing final webinar for 2020, I thank everybody for supporting us. I wish each and every one of you a very happy, a very peaceful uh, Christmas. And we're going to leave now with a wonderful uh, play, out, play out here from the Dublin Gospel Choir with It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year. Slána Walia and thank you very much.
for hosting marshmallows, for toasting and caroling out in the snow. There'll be scary ghost stories and tales of the glories of Christmases long, long ago. Mistletoeing and hearts will be glowing when loved ones are near. It's the most wonderful time of the year. There'll be parties for hosting, marshmallows for toasting.